Hi, I'm Chantal Cohen, and I am here with the wonderful Keith. Keith is an amazing makeup artist. I can't say enough about what he does. I've seen his work firsthand, and you guys, I just have to put in a little plug if it's okay. Thank you. He is at Nordstrom's at Phipps Plaza, but he's also an independent contractor, and he's amazing. And so if you want to know more about Keith, feel free to just ask in the comments and I can connect you to Keith via email because he makes everyone look fantastic. And so I know you're really busy and you have a busy life and yet you, you stayed around. He's been so great. He's been pulling double duty, you guys, makeup, and he's been willing to be in front of the camera. So thank you so much. No I really problem. appreciate it. So I'm going to ask Keith, we'll continue with our series on modern dating and love. And I'm going to ask Keith a series of questions and I'm going to get his take on it. It's going to be interesting as always. And Keith, I don't want you to feel like you have to give, give the answers from your heart, whatever you mm -hmm. feel, there's no right or wrong answers. Sometimes I may throw in my opinion cause I'm, I'm like that. And so I'll just throw in my opinion, but otherwise, um, remember guys, be respectful with the comments. Um, that's above them, you know, the fact that he's here is really important. And so I just want to make sure that we're always respectful and nice. So with that said, can I ask my first question? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Okay, great. What do you want from a relationship? First and foremost, pretty much to be happy. Mm. And that's pretty yeah. much it. For me, if I can just be happy... It could be whatever. If I'm just happy and, like I said, I'm a chill person. Yeah. So yeah. if I can just be happy with that, that's all I'm looking for, really. And so when you say happy, because happiness is, I think that that's something, again, Keith, that everybody wants. I think that it's so important, yet it's so elusive mm -hmm. to a lot of people. A lot of people, we all want it, but we don't always know how to get it in mm -hmm. relationships. And so... When you think of happiness in a relationship, what would be happening in that relationship that would tell you, ooh, I'm happy? Being comfortable. Ah. Comfortable, like, um, just being comfortable. Like, you know, like in my last relationship I was just in, it was 13 years. Yeah, he's a relationship guy. He and his partner, you guys weren't married, were you? No. Yeah, but you a long time together. Yeah, yeah. since I was like 19. Wow. Yeah, but I'm um, like happy. I was like, I gained a whole lot of weight. Like, I feel like that's when you know you're happy, when you gain a lot of weight. Because <laughs> couples that's, eat. That's know, when you know, like true. when you when you're comfortable and just, you know, like I say, chill. I feel like that's when you know. Like, when, and I think if I can, if it's okay, if I read between the lines, mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is when you can be yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's, it, and I, I like the word that you use because comfortable, I, I can tell you it gets a bad rap. And I, I've said this often enough within, you probably heard me say this on video, but I've said it a lot to my clients, that comfortable is underrated mm -hmm. because people associate comfortable with the same but they don't associate it with authenticity, mm -hmm. with being really seen, mm -hmm. you know? And so yeah. comfortable is a very, very important word. So I love that you use that. That's, that's important. So what you want from a relationship is to be comfortable being yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think, I mean, that's a beautiful answer. I think all of us want that. I mean, because like, who wants to like put on for someone like to try to be somebody else? Mm -hmm. Like I just want to be myself yeah. and just be chill. like I say, chill. That's like the word of the day, like chill. I know exactly. You know what you made me think of is kind of a funny, kind of a little funny story. I mean, I think most of you know I, I'm married to someone Caucasian and. We first start seeing each other. I'm like wrapping up my hair, you know? <laughs> and he's like, well, why are you doing that? And I'm like, okay, 
we have to have the talk. The talk. <laughs> but there was no way that I wasn't going to wrap my hair and, and, and be myself, mm -hmm. you know. And it, it's funny because now whenever we watch a movie and there's so many African-American, my husband's like, that is not real. She doesn't have a headscarf on. She doesn't have a silk pillowcase. <laughs> it's like it's not even real. <laughs> So I know exactly what you're saying is to be able to be yourself, mm -hmm. and that's that's vitally important. Yeah. Um, do you believe in marriage? I did it before. Oh, that's interesting. I did it well, like in the gay community. You have some gays that do get married, but I was like, not really. That's not me. That's not what I want to do. But. Mm -hmm. Now, but 16 years, I mean, you might as well have been married. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, I started to think differently. Like, once I got 30, when, once I turned 30, I would say that's when I started to think about marriage more. But, like, all in my 20s, I was like, no, for what? Like, we do, we together, so what more do we need? I know, um, I know what you're saying. Do you need a piece of paper? Exactly to, we, we have children, and mm -hmm. so I, I know what you're saying. I, I, I guess I believe in marriage, but then I also don't necessarily believe it's necessary. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because like I said, we've been together this long, like, why mess it up with some lawyers and paperwork? Right. So, right. but yeah, uh, but now I think about it all the time. Really? Yeah, I'll be look. I'll be on Pinterest and looking at like stuff I want for my wedding and like if I was to have a band, like what I would want them to sing. Like that's what I'm looking at now. But before, no, no. You know you what you sound like. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> a romantic a little bit. I I, I am. <laughs> I I'm a hopeless romantic. Um, I love love, but. I like being comfortable at the same time, but yeah. I like I like to be you know swoon and so courted. Be courted. courted. Yeah, that's another question I have. Do you want to be courted? And so, let me ask another question. Would he? Would you prefer that he ask you out on a date and plan the date, or would you prefer to be asked? Okay, I'd, I'd love to take you out. What would you like to do? I would prefer him to ask. Because if I have to, well, I would say I like it both ways. Because I'm trying to be different now. Because I was in a relationship for so long. So dating is so new to me. So before I would want him to ask me out on a date, but now, Guys are different now. Like I, you got to take the initiative now. So mm. I feel like I got to ask nowadays. Cause if not, Good. nothing will get done. I I agree with you. It's and I think it's safe mm -hmm. too. We kind of try to keep ourselves safe by not asking someone mm -hmm. out. And so I think what you're saying is, and tell me if I'm off on this. Okay, I'm single now. I'm coming off of a long-term relationship. I know that I've got to, at some point, put myself out there. And a way mm -hmm. to put yourself out there yeah. is to start asking to. Yeah, and that's that's what it. And then it was kind of weird when I first actually asked somebody out for the first time. It was kind of weird because I was like, I didn't know exactly what to say or how to say it. I just was like. You want to go and get lunch? <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually like, perfect. Yeah. So I was like, you want to go and get lunch? And he was like, yeah, okay. And then we went on lunch, and then that actually led to something else. So, so That's really great because yeah. you know what you did is it feels like you kept it casual, mm -hmm. but it was still formal enough. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go get lunch? Yeah. And so it's an ask, but lunch is more informal. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a great way. And there's not as so much pressure with lunch. No. Yeah, not. dinner and a movie and that sort of thing, there's yeah. a little more pressure. Mm -hmm. um, you're automatically going to dress casually, mm -hmm. more casually for a lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a time limit, whereas a date kind of goes on a mm -hmm. little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, like a movie, I can do a movie because we don't got to talk to each other <laughs> in a movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can just watch the movie. But like, yeah, like you say, dinner. That's something like totally different because you gotta actually talk and stuff. Try to try to get to know each other. But a movie, like you can just sit there and be quiet and then ask questions later after the movie. Yeah. But yeah, I like lunch. Lunch is cool. It's cute. Yeah, Same. and it's it's easy and not so much pressure. Yeah, because then we could just leave right after. Yeah. yeah. No, but if you had a good time, it's like then you can make plans to do something exactly. that's a little more in the evening. Exactly. Yeah, I like that too. I think coffees are good to you guys. I think coffees are really nice too. Hey, let's, you know, you meet at a Starbucks or a local coffee shop and just kind of talk, and mm -hmm. and it, it can it can kind of take some of the pressure off. So let me ask you. I've been asking people this a lot. Who's supposed to be the breadwinner in the relationship? And so when you're in a same-sex relationship, do you think that there's, do you think that there's more of a clear delineation between like, okay, he needs to make more money? I see it maybe two different ways. Okay. I go by more so age. Oh. Like if he's older, yeah. Shoot, be the breadwinner. Yeah, you older, you supposed to be. But like, if we're like around the same age, I, I prefer it to be more equal. Okay. That I makes... prefer it to be more equal. But if you do make a little bit more, that's fine. I'm fine with that. But I feel like if you older, yeah, be the breadwinner. Because I wouldn't mind it as long as you know like where I stand and like respect. Yeah, that's important. So, yeah, like if you got the respect, like, okay, I do make more money, but you can still handle this and handle that. But I feel like if you're older, yeah. Is it, and, and let me just piggyback on that. If you're older because you have more opportunities. Mm -hmm. You have more, more opportunities, you got more experience, and I feel like you should be more further established yeah. further uh, along. Okay. So like than me, like I should be able to learn from you if you're older. Okay. So yeah. Do you date older men? I love older men. Okay, I love you older men. Single. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like an older man. I mean, I guess you could say I got daddy issues. I got daddy issues. So you need to come and see uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I prefer someone older. I don't like someone. I mean, I've dated people my age, and it's just all right. But I prefer someone older. Just. I wonder though, and, and this is me, I'm not trying to psychoanalyze as mm -hmm. much as I'm, I'm thinking, because not everyone who dates someone who is older is necessarily has daddy issues. It could mm -hmm. be that you, you, you talked about kind of being comfortable, being more authentic, mm -hmm. um, more real. Mm -hmm. And I do think that somebody who's lived a little bit, it's like they're less, inclined to try to be artificial or someone they're mm -hmm. not exactly so no that that does make sense yeah because they know themselves a little bit more like right. that's what i want i like um i'm trying to get to know myself especially with being in a relationship so long i'm trying to get to know myself so yeah. if i get with someone who already knows themselves it makes it a little bit easier because i'm not trying to get to know you as much. Right. 